Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to use Skype. So if you're new to Skype, I'll walk you through some of the best options that Skype has to offer. Skype is basically a video and audio or a chat application and it's available for many different devices from your iPhone to Android phones to a desktop. In this video, we'll look at the desktop version. It's actually one of my favorite tools to use for video chatting and collaborating with colleagues. So jump into Skype.com, it's owned by Microsoft. So you'll get to this page here and you could go ahead and download Skype here for your device or you could check here for the different devices that it has right here but I already downloaded it for my Mac here. And once you download it, again, press download, it will download it here to your Mac and it will open up once you finish the download process. And once you launch Skype for the first time, you'll have to create an account. I already have one, but if you didn't have one, go ahead and create an account from scratch here. This will create a Microsoft account that you could use for Skype. So it's going to either ask for your phone number or email. So go through the process. I already made an account here. So I'm going to go ahead and click my username here and sign in. And this is what the Skype window looks like. I want to show you some of the most important elements here. On top, you're going to have your name here. And if you click your name, you could actually change your status from being active to away or do not disturb or invisible. So this is an important thing to know and to be able to change anytime. Your Skype username is what's underneath your name. So this is my Skype username right underneath my name. And then underneath that, it says share what you're up to. If you use Facebook, for example, this is similar to a Facebook status. So you could either type in or choose some of this here as your status. So if you're in a meeting, for example, you could do that. And it's gonna say, I'm in a meeting here. And you could see your Skype profile and things like that underneath. I'm gonna just go ahead and click here to get out of there. Underneath that, this is the most important things that you would do on Skype. You have your chat box here, your chat icon, your calls, your contact and your notifications. So on their chats, these are all the different people that I chat with here. And on their calls, these are the people I've had calls with on Skype. This is my contact list. So everybody that's been connected with me on Skype is here. And at any time under any of these, I could start a new chat call or so on by pressing this plus sign and say new group chat or new chat or new private conversation. Same with call, I could press and choose a call to start a new call. And if I wanted to add another contact and I have their Skype name, I could press contact, find the people and invite them to my Skype here to have a conversation with them. And notification is gonna just show you some of the things about Skype such as new updates here. And as always, it has a search option where you could search for people, groups, or messages all right over here. I'm gonna X out of that. And if you click this recent chat, you could sort by different time or messages that are unread. So that's the option here. That's basically everything on this side that you need to know. And you could click this dot section here to get a dial box here where you could call any number here using Skype. Now this will take some credits, so this is not the free portion of Skype, but you could make calls internationally here very easily to any mobile device, and you could get credit here for that. But if someone else is using Skype, these should be all free options here that you're gonna be using. So let's go ahead and start a message here. So I'm under the chat icon, and I could always go in the middle here and start a conversation. I could always click that and search for someone to chat with. But in this case, I'm just gonna go under the chat icon and press the plus sign here to start a new chat. So I'll say new chat, and then I have to choose someone I wanna chat with. This actually has a bot, so this is a tech app bot. I could, ex I could start this conversation with a bot here. And here on your messages, take a look at some of the things that you'll be using most often. Type your message here. So this is obviously a simple chat box. So if I type a message here, the other person can reply to me by doing the same thing under this chat box. And you have a bunch of different options for sending files, transferring money, video messages, and everything, even sharing location here. And when it gets sent to someone, this little icon shows up that they read the message, they received the message here. So now they could reply back. That's what's going on on the bottom. You also have your emoji icon to choose a bunch of different emojis, GIFs, stickers, and so on. On top, these are, the, these are the things that I use the most. You have your video icon to start a video call. You could start an audio call with the telephone icon, 
and you could add other people and make this a group chat. So right now it's a single chat between me and the tech app. So as you can see, this chat box, I just asked it, how are you? And it responded to me and it's typing. When it types, it usually gives you this message. So now I could start the video chat, the audio chat, or turn this into a group message. These are the options I have. And as I mentioned before, I could always send it different types of files here. You could even drag and drop files into this like images and PDFs, and it will send it to them. So that's a basic overview of using the Skype app on your desktop. Again, it's pretty much the same on Windows or on Mac. This is the desktop version. The mobile version is a little bit different, but the same fundamental features apply. So, so here's an incoming call coming from a video. So I could press that and start a call. In this case, I'm going to press decline here and decline that call. So that's what happens when someone calls you. In this case, it was the chatbot trying to contact me. I hope you found this quick video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for videos just like this posted every single day on this channel. And I hope to catch you next time. Thanks for watching.